We now have a photo of the man that Lakewood police say was driving the semi truck that caused this deadly crash. 23 year old Rogel Lazaro Aguilera Medeiros from Texas is in custody and charged with four counts of vehicular homicide. In an update we received in the last hour, police say he is cooperating with investigators as they continue to untangle the scene. There is there is just a bunch of debris from this this crash that that took place. Uh, the carnage was was significant, uh, just uh, unbelievable. 28 vehicles, four semi trucks, and 24 cars involved in this collision, according to authorities. It happened yesterday during rush hour on Interstate 70 eastbound when police say Aguilera Medeiros did not stop as his semi came up on backed up traffic from a separate accident. A YouTuber was in that backup and streaming. Watch the left hand side of your screen. You're welcome, guys. We just cured anxiety. Oh! We almost died. Somebody pull that son of a over. He just drove through the emergency wing. Okay, we're going to have to go this way. Oh, Police say the suspect had a flatbed with a load of wood and was coming down from the foothills on Interstate 70. They say investigators are trying to pin down exactly where he got on the interstate and why he did not exit. The Colorado Department of Transportation, or CDOT, says this portion of I-70, a very busy section for the Denver metro area, will be closed at least until tomorrow. Crews need to determine the integrity of the bridge where this occurred and the pavement itself. There were multiple explosions over the course of the crash, according to witnesses, and CDOT says the heat from this event could turn the road into rubble. And Melissa, the suspect is scheduled to be in court tomorrow afternoon.